Okay. I'm pleased to announce that um, I have a technical collaboration with the footer who are specialized in uh, rust preventing pipe supports. And uh, from now on, their supports are available in my Python pipe support app. Therefore, I decided that I will create a new video showing uh, from start to finish how to install my app, how to open the catalog which I provide with the app, how to add that to your spec in your actual project in Plan 3D, and uh, finally how to insert some supports in the model itself. So without further ado, let's start with the installation. I have here the X file, which you should be able to download from the Autodesk App Store once you purchase my app. So I just double click on it and hit yes. And this is an important message. This is uh, saying that Python pipe support this application will install new Python scripts in the CPAC common folder. Please run plant register custom scripts scripts command in plan 3d after the installation and then restart the program so it is very important that you run the plant register custom scripts command in plan 3d i will do just that after the installation and uh, another important message is that the current cpec common folder location is c auto get, get plan 3d 2020 content it might be different for your uh, computer uh, depending on the version of plan 3d or you might even use some network location to store your uh, plan 3d content folder this is very common and uh, that way many users will access these catalogs as well so i just hit yes sorry it is in hungarian Please consider the provided catalog as sample only. Yes, you have purchased your scripts. Yes. So basically, what I am saying here that um, be careful. The catalogs might get overwritten if you reinstall the app. So if you are changing something in your in the catalog, you are uh, customizing it to your own needs. Be careful to rename them because once you make a reinstall, the catalogs are obviously overwritten because the new install is there. Okay, so this is the location for the Python pipe support app. Basically, only the uh, uninstall file is located here. The scripts and the catalogs um, are going to be stored in the plan 3D content folder. So the program files folder are only used for the uninstall file. So we just hit uh, next and install. So now I have installed the Python pipe support app. Don't forget, now I have to start Plan 3D and run the Plant Register Custom Scripts command. So I will just do that. Uh, I have Plant 3D 2020 on my computer and it will just start up. And then I will run the Plant Register Custom Scripts command which means that uh, the scripts will be registered. And from that point onwards, once you restart in Plan 3D, those scripts can be used. I entered Plan Register Custom Scripts. From now on, the scripts I registered can be used. Now I close Plan 3D and go to the spec editor. Now, in the spec editor, you see basic, uh, if you are on the spec editor tab here, you, you basically see two parts, the top part and the bottom part. The top part is the spec sheet editor, and the bottom part is the catalog section. So on the top part, you will see what is usable in your actual project. What are the pipe supports in that uh, project's pipe support spec? On the bottom side, you can open as many catalogs as you want, and you can insert these uh, supports from the bottom part to the top part. So you select something from one catalog and insert it to the spec of your project. 
and uh, select another catalog and insert those items as well. So you can make a project specific specification, uh, so to speak. So first, I will open the catalog. This is the catalog what we have installed right now. So uh, it should be, it is in the C, um, AutoCAD Plan 3D 2020 content for that. Uh, during the installation, I mentioned that it can be important. So the installer showed me where is the actual uh, Plan 3D content folder. So it might be on your network drive if you are using a shared content folder, but uh, if you are on a single computer, you most probably have this in a similar location like mine, like C, AutoCAD Plan 3D 20 something content. So inside that folder, I will go to the CPAC common folder, as mentioned before, and I go to the Python pipe support folder, which was cre just created by the installer. I have multiple versions installed. Uh, I will go to the latest uh, version folder, V11.0, and inside that, you have three provided catalogs. These are all part of the app, but I am now interested in the defaulter each type uh, catalog, so I will open that one. So what you see here is all the items in all the sizes on the bottom for the different kind of iRod, galvanized new bolts, uh, non-gripping uh, new bolts and stuff like that, all items from the footer catalog. So these are all here. So the second part of the job is to open the project uh, pipe support spec here to the top part. So I go to the spec, open spec. I will go to my project. It is now on my OneDrive, so it is in the Plan 3D folder, one Imperial. I was not too creative how to call the the imperial type project in my one drive so it is one imperial and uh, i will go to the spec sheets this is the folder which stores all the specs and uh, i will scroll down and open the pipe support spec only one spec is named like this this is the pipe support spec obviously it is containing the pipe supports for this project so there are many, many supports now in this one. I will clear this up. So now I, I have no supports in the pipe supports spec in this project. I will just add some from the bottom side. So I will put some uh, small eye rods up to spec. I will put a uh, Galvanized new board with high temperature polish ring. I will add some stainless steel new board. And I don't know, I will add some uh, clips for clamps as well. So, I have now four supports in the pipe support spec. This small star indicates that it is not saved yet, so I hit save. Important that Control S is not working in Plant 3D spec editor, so you have to click here. And now the pipe supports are there in the project pipe support spec. So I just have to start Plant 3D again, and hopefully on the right hand side menu, in the pipe support tab, we will have all these supports ready to be inserted. So I go to the project manager, I open this stop rust drawing, go to the pipe support spec, and uh, you will see that here I have these four different type of uh, supports already there, so I will put a four inch pipe, let's say, just here, and just put galvanized new bolt on it, or a stainless steel new bolt on it. It looks the same, right? 
But uh, if I go to the properties, you will see that in the long description side, you will have the the ID number of this item. It is NUB0060. And for this one, it is NUB0120. So based on that, you can make a bill of material as well. Just two more supports I would like to show. So you can place as individual irods below the pipe as well. And uh, the clamps are also here. So if, uh, I mean the clips for the clamps. So these are the clips which can be inserted onto the onto the uh, clamps. So if I just place a generic and, uh, stuff here and I uh, increase its diameter a little bit like this. Let's see how it is working. So the, the the clips are indicated on on the clamp. So basically, this is it. Obviously, this is working for all sizes. So if I put a relatively big pipe or a relatively small pipe here, the the supports are automatically sized accordingly. It is also two for the rods, as you can see. So this was the short introduction to the deep water supports in my Python pipe support app. Hope you liked it. See you until next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.